Does that boost your confidence in investing in China? Well, the things that you just described, they don't sound like really market-oriented measures, right? especially telling people not to sell. Uh, China has demonstrated in the past that it can put a floor under share prices if it wants to. And if that's what you're betting on, then fine. But if what you want to see is the doom and gloom aura that has, is over Chinese markets somehow go away, I don't think it's going to go away anytime soon because the problems are deep and they're not going away. And I, I mean, th these moves are really kind of phenomenal to, to think of a government telling people to do all of these things after, by the way, that same government was responsible for talking down a lot of, of, of these companies and these stocks before because of the moves that they were making in the past. And, and they've done it before. Um, they've put a floor onto the market, but they haven't addressed the underlying issues. And Which one of them yeah. is uh, US-China tensions. Uh, a lot of investors, both outside of China and inside of China, are worried about Chinese companies, as well as other companies doing business in China, being in the crosshairs of tit-for-tat sanctions. Uh, and I don't see those tensions going away. The other thing is it's not just people outside of China worried about external issues, but there is a real sense of gloom over the Chinese market domestically. People don't feel like the country is going in the right direction under Xi. That doesn't translate into open opposition or criticism, but it does translate into a kind of despondency about the future of the country and the kind of moves that would really change things. The alarm bells are ringing loud in the world of finance as the Chinese stock market grapples with a staggering collapse, sending shockwaves across global investment landscapes. The stock markets, often considered the barometer of investor sentiment for a nation, are painting a grim picture for China. Often regarded as a litmus test for investor sentiment within a nation, the stock markets are unfurling a stark and ominous narrative for China. The ominous downturn in the Chinese stock market is unraveling with a sense of urgency, particularly evident in key indices such as the Hang Seng, Shanghai Composite, and Shenzhen Component. The Hang Seng Index, representing Hong Kong's stock market, is currently trading at a disconcerting 16,211, a level last witnessed in 2011. The situation has worsened since February 2021, with the Hang Seng witnessing an alarming 50% decline, casting a shadow on the financial landscape. Simultaneously, the Shanghai Composite Index has undergone a substantial decline of 22%, plummeting from the highs of 3,700 in December 2021 to its current position at 2,900. This steep fall paints a vivid picture of the escalating financial crisis, eclipsing the figures previously mentioned. The Shenzhen Competent Index is echoing this downward trend, further compounding the economic challenges facing China. These unprecedented losses, reminiscent of the last Chinese stock market crash in 2015 to 2016, have collectively wiped out a staggering $6 trillion from the combined value of Chinese and Hong Kong stocks over the past three years. To contextualize this economic upheaval, the magnitude of this colossal sum is approximately equivalent to twice the annual economic output of the United Kingdom. As the Chinese market grapples with these alarming figures, the reverberations are felt not only within the nation, but resonate globally, raising concerns about the stability and trajectory of China's economic future. Crack down on big tech and state dominance. Beijing's stringent measures to rein in the burgeoning influence of big tech companies have sent shockwaves through the investment community. Tech giants that once enjoyed seemingly boundless growth and prosperity are now grappling with regulatory scrutiny, antitrust investigations, and restrictive policies. The crackdown aims to curtail monopolistic practices, ensure data security, and foster a more controlled and regulated tech ecosystem. However, the abruptness and intensity of these interventions have left investors in a state of disarray, uncertain about the future profitability and growth potential of once high-flying tech stocks. As Beijing emphasizes national security concerns, its interventions extend beyond big tech to encompass a broader spectrum of industries. The increasing dominance of the state sector in key industries raises existential questions about the role of private enterprise and market dynamics in China's economic landscape. 
the state-driven initiatives and control measures, while touted as essential for stability and security, create an environment of uncertainty for investors. The delicate balance between state intervention and market-driven growth is undergoing a profound reassessment, leaving investors grappling with the implications for their portfolios. Compounding these domestic uncertainties are the escalating tensions between the United States and China. The geopolitical rift has prompted U.S. investors to reevaluate and significantly reduce their exposures to Chinese equities. Fearful of the potential consequences of this geopolitical rivalry on their investments, investors are opting for a more cautious approach. The resultant exodus of foreign capital further intensifies the downward spiral in Chinese markets. As a global investment community grapples with the profound uncertainties emanating from these multifaceted challenges. In 2017, the U.S. began increasing restrictions on Chinese investments in sensitive sectors like technology, critical infrastructure, and national security. This included measures like heightened scrutiny for mergers and acquisitions and limitations on Chinese venture capital investments. These restrictions limited Chinese access to American technology and investment opportunities, potentially curbing their growth and influence in certain sectors. However, they also raised concerns about the protectionism and potential harm to American businesses with ties to China. These restrictions remain in place, and the Biden administration has continued to voice concerns about Chinese investment in sensitive areas. This issue contributes to overall tension and uncertainty in the bilateral trade relationship. In 2020, the U.S. introduced stricter export controls on technology exports to China, particularly aimed at semiconductors and other technologies deemed critical for national security. These controls limited Chinese access to advanced technology, potentially hindering their technological advancements and economic growth. They also impacted American businesses dependent on exports to China. This restriction remains in place and continues to be a major point of contention between the two countries. The Biden administration has not significantly changed the Trump-era export controls policy, further straining the relationship. Real Estate Crisis at the Heart The ongoing crisis in the real estate sector is at the epicenter of China's economic problems. The lack of an effective government backstop to prop up failing property developers and stimulate demand for housing is exacerbating the crisis. The real estate downturn, coupled with the broader economic challenges, is eroding investor confidence and contributing to the widespread market sell-off. The specter of a looming real estate crisis in China is underscored by staggering figures, revealing a complex web of debt that has woven itself into the very fabric of the nation's economy. As of September 2023, the total real estate debt in China stands at a monumental 190 trillion yuan, equivalent to approximately 28 trillion dollars. This astronomical sum encompasses debts held by developers, households, and various entities entrenched in the intricate tapestry of the real estate sector. This colossal figure is not just a numerical abstraction. It represents a staggering 75% of China's gross domestic product. The magnitude of real estate debt in relation to the country's economic output underscores the pivotal role that the property market plays in the overall health and vitality of the Chinese economy. The dependency on the real estate as a cornerstone of economic growth has elevated the significance of these debt dynamics to a critical level. In the face of the intricate challenges and vulnerabilities present in the Chinese economic landscape, a prudent approach is not just advisable, it becomes imperative for investors considering exposure to China and its companies. Caution stands as a watchword for those contemplating investments in China. The multifaceted risks emanating from the real estate sector's debt dynamics, coupled with the broader geopolitical landscape, necessitate a meticulous evaluation of potential exposures. This is not a time for undue risks or hasty investment decisions.